of Miss Sonia Massey. I don't know if you slept last night after seeing the video. It was very difficult for me. And it was my third time. Each time I watch it, I think about black women all over America being hunted. We have some. Hey, um, two things, man. Um, if black women are being hunted, they're being hunted by black men. And if in mo uh, there's a lot of uh, black women out here hunting too, man. Boy, let me tell you, man, in D.C., there's a lot of black women hunting, man. I, and I'm sure it's only D.C. I'm sure it's nowhere else. But um, at least in D.C., there's a couple of sisters out there hunting, man. Um, Something to be afraid of. Those of us who have sons and daughters, we used to be concerned about our sons. But now we're concerned about the black woman as well. So you just... So you just got concerned about your black daughters, man. Think about how fucking how such low self awareness that that statement is, man. Think about the lack of self awareness in that statement to say something like that. To say you this 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 old grown ass crazy woman tried to throw some boiling water on a cop. That's the um. That's what got you caring about your daughters, man, in, in 2024, man. I am so grateful to be here today with Attorney Crump, but especially... And look, she wearing an African print, man. She she got all... She probably never dressed like an African before, man. They leaning. I'm surprised they ain't all up here looking like a scene out of coming to America, man. These brothers back there like, shit, I don't wear that shit, man. Fuck that shit, man. I don't wear that shit. That shit, that shit look crazy, man. Always Gucci and Polo, man. Massey family. This day means so much to us that the mother, the son, the daughter, the father thought it was important for all of us to be here together. So at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Attorney Ben Crump. Attorney Ben? Thank you. Uh, thank you again. Ben has never said anything um, inspiring, man. He like a he like a wet he like sitting on a wet wash rag or something. Sitting on he like when you when you when you when you when it when you don't know there's something wet in the seat and you sit there. Oh shit, man! He just a buzz. He don't never say anything profound. He old mush mouth. He ain't like Martin Luther King, man, where they be having them sayings and shit. A lot of these, even Al Sharpton, he have, like, his sayings, man. Jesse Jackson, this dude, he just boring and dry and offbeat and bumbling and big bubble gump looking ass. Thank you, Teresa, for allowing us to be in the facility um, to comfort the family and to try to continue to make sure we get justice for Sonia Massey. Um, I'm here with attorney Natalie Jackson, attorney Paul Grinke, attorney Jennifer Hightower, and as Teresa said, Miss Donna, her mother, uh, Mr. James, her father, her children, Summer and Malachi, and a host of cousins and um, uncles and aunts. The updates of these, Number one, we've been informed that now DOJ is opening an investigation. The department, the Department of Justice, everything about this, y'all supposed to be so disenfranchised and so marginalized. But every time somebody, one of y'all gets shot by anybody white, the DOJ opens up an investigation. No other race has that. No other race has that luxury of any time they get shot or some have a bad interaction with another race, the Department of Justice investigates it. Only black people have that luxury. Press one. Shout out to Kale. She says, sorry, but I am blocked. My partner and I can't see comments on this. Who blocked um, Kale, man? 
What did y'all, why'd y'all block her, man? Let me see if I can unblock her, man. Um, why'd y'all block Kale, man? The hell, man? That's your name on here, Kale? Um, Yeah, man, but yeah, why'd y'all why y'all block that girl, man? Why would y'all do that, man? Um, I'm gonna try to uh I'm gonna try to unblock you, man. I'm gonna try to get you get get you get you uh get you unblocked, man. Um what's your what's your name on here, man? I gotta find your name now. Shit. I can't find your name. I might have to find your name, man. Damn, they blocked a bunch of people, man. Damn, y'all blocked a bunch of people, man. What the hell? Oh, that's moderated. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Yeah, man. Um, tell me your tell me your name, um, Kale. Um, in the chat, so I can um, cause I don't see I don't see your name in there. Yeah, I don't see your name. Yeah, comment, comment. Um, she can't comment cause she's blocked. I don't think she can comment cause she's blocked. That's why she super chatted, man. Um, she can't comment, man. Yeah, she can't. Yeah, email me, man. Email me. I can tune they live too. Email me, man. Um, now I'll try to get you unblocked, man. Um, Department of Justice, which is welcome, because uh, there have been some concerns and revelations by the family that we think needs to be investigated. <laughs> it big mush mouth, bubble gump ass nigga, man. That dude a mess, man. Um, this dude, this dude brought up a good question, man. This dude right here, man. Shout out to this That's dude. Half of you all. Let's see what this dude talking about, man. Uh, that I am about to make. And I have just this, um, uh, question to ask where were they where were they where were they if you watched the body camera video and you saw miss massey did she appear to be in her right mental frame of mind now granted she did answer certain questions but she appeared to be mentally right where were they where were they you don't have to like me and that's okay where were they where were they at i wonder how many of them were able to break their schedule of whatever they had going on in their lives you know calling off from work calling off from other stuff to be there for the press conference and for the funeral. Couldn't they have done the same things to make sure she wasn't alone there that night? Where were they? And it's not just her family. How many families are out there who know they have family members who have altered mental statuses and put them in a home, leave them alone. How many, how many of them do that? How many do that? I'm asking a valid question here because there's a lot of people there. Same thing, not just her, same thing for the Laquan McDonald family. When Laquan McDonald went through what he went through in Chicago, how all the family just all of a sudden just come out 
And now they got a bunch to say. But why was he a ward of the state? I said what I said, and I'm saying it as much. How many family members, especially in our community, leave people alone to fend for themselves? If all of those people were there, would that deputy have even thought of doing something like that? I'm just asking valid questions. I'm all would her house have thought of looking like that? Would her house have thought of looking like a hoarder's house if their family was there, man? What about that, man? Would that deputy have even thought of doing something like that? I'm just asking valid questions. I'm asking valid questions. Sound off in the comments. Now, of course, you're going to have the Shea Butter community that's going to come out and say questions like, I'm going to put it on the screen. Here we go. What did he that have to do with him killing her? Here we go. Here we go. Here's another Shea Butter person. There's no reason why he used physical force. Didn't I start off by saying that? See, the Shea Butters and those who have issues, they listen defensively. They only listen for what triggers them. They don't listen to the main point that I had to say. Didn't I start out saying that there was no reason for him to do what he did? And I have a witness here in the office. You ain't gonna, don't you say nothing. But that's the first thing I started off by saying. That's the first thing I started off by saying. Where were they? Same thing with George Floyd, man. Um, gone with Kale, man. Kale, I don't see your name in the um block list, man. Your your name is. I've looked over several times, man. Your your name is not in the block list. You're not blocked. Um, you're not blocked, man. Uh, maybe you're blocked on Streamyard. Maybe, may, let's maybe maybe you're blocked on Streamyard. I don't know, but your name is not in the block list, man. Um, you have not been blocked, man. Um, on on YouTube, man. Um, and I didn't block you on um Streamyard. I didn't block you. I'm the only one that can block you on stream. I, I didn't block you. Um, I don't know what's going on, man. Um, I don't know what's going on. I have no clue. Gone with kids. Yeah, nah. No, nah, I haven't blocked. Come on now. Y'all love accountability. Y'all love accountability, and you love to sit there and use that word accountability and responsibility. How many of them could have taken classes to understand? mental illness and how they could best help man dealing with that crazy ass woman she throwing hot water on people dude what the hell you expect why would they go around that woman and she throwing hot water on people man <laughs> nothing will make family cut you off quicker than uh asking for money all the time and throwing hot water on people man press one man this dude crazy man Hell, they gonna be around that woman. She running around throwing hot water on people. Because apparently, watching that full body camera video, she suffered from some level of mental illness. And all they had to do was just be there. That was it. Just be there. Just be present. But how many of them are present for the press conference? They there when you're dead. 
but they're not there when you're mentally dead. I said what I said, hate me now. What you say, many, many family members don't wanna be bothered. Many family members don't wanna be boiled. Press one. Many family members don't want to be bothered. Somebody say, I'm done with the police, but you supposed to be the first police. You supposed to be the one that's there for if family was there, she would never have had the need to call the police. She would have never had the need to. Yeah, but if family was there, they would have called the police. Hey, police, come get this crazy ass woman. She up here boiling water, man. Talking about she gonna rebuke somebody, man. Police, you try to throw hot water on us, man. Send over the unit as soon as possible, man. Call the police if just half of you all were there. But now you're there with 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 turning Ben Crump. And we're here to fight for justice for, for, for Miss Matthew because you know he can't wait till one of our bodies drop. Oh, he can't wait till one of our bodies drop, baby. Oh, he can't wait. When one of our bodies drop, hey, I'm here to fight for the justice for those <laughs> who are in the mix because we have to sit here and say justice for. Insert your <laughs> name here. Oh, he can't wait. So I ain't talking about Ben. He just doing his thug this. I'm talking about the family. Y'all been following me a long time, and you know I say if family don't matter, nothing matters. I said, this ain't going to be a long live. I got things to do. All right. Well, well. So you need to look in your own house. And you need to ask yourself, is my family there? Because Miss Massey didn't have to lose her life. The black community loved to focus on the police and don't have nothing to say about the family. Where was the family? You see all of them at the press conference now. And family, you could come for me, but you ain't getting nothing this way because I don't do conflict. I'm not going to argue with you. You need to keep your energies there. Shame is a noun. It's described as the painful feeling of humiliation or distress caused by the consciousness of wrong or foolish behavior. And you should live in shame for this. Miss Massey deserved to have her family there at her house and not in this press conference. And I don't like to. Could you imagine if. <laughs> could you imagine if Sonia Massey was doing a fish fry back? Yeah, come over my house, family. I'm inviting everybody over my house for a fish fry. Come on over and get some of this fish, man. I'm going to have all the burners. I'm going to have all the burners going, man. We'll have a fish fry over at Sonya's house, man. Be like, oh, shit. Uh, Sonya, um, yeah, um. I really want to come, but something came up. Sorry, man. Last minute, man. I know I said I was going to come, but, you know, I, I got some plans, man. I know every time you throw a fish fry, man, I have plans, but it's just a coincidence, Cousin Sonya. I love you, man. I'm going to try to make it to the next fish fry, Cousin Sonya. to use that word shame, but you should live in it. Where were you? You're blaming the government for the actions of this man and by right it should be there, but it's also on you too. You're calling off for the press conference. You're calling off for other stuff. You're making plans for the funeral that should have never happened. That energy could have been put towards simply just being there. Can I offer to clean your room? Can I offer to wash you? <laughs> he went there, man. Yeah, man. Can I offer to clean your room? Can I call Bird Alive or Hoarders, man, and have him uh, come to your house, man? 
Yeah, man. Oh, dishes, dishes. Can I offer to cook for you? Can I offer to do your grass? Can I offer to paint your walls? Find something to do to be there. Oh, here come another one. Horrible take, bro. See, there's always an enabler. There's always an enabler. And I bet you, you ain't even from the black. Oh, that's on Brito, man. Hugo Barata Cancalde. Hugo Barata Cancalde. That man, he, man, yeah, stay out of black people business, man. You all up in black people business, man. This is a black thing, man. What's wrong with you, man? What's wrong with you, Hector? Hugo, whatever the hell your name is, man. You all up in our business, man. Don't you got a, uh, don't you got a, uh, goddamn, uh, a salsa party or something to go to, man? Don't you got a quinceanera or something to go to, man? All up in our business. Ain't it something, ain't it a new show on Telemundo tonight, man? You all up in our business, man. Community, so you don't even need to be up in here. What did you say? I mentioned to you this in your post last night that it's really disturbing that the family only shows up now. That's not to say that the officer was not in the wrong for this because he absolutely was. I agree. That's our whole point. The off. Yeah, she was wrong too, man. <laughs> She was wrong too, man. Don't throw no hot water on nobody, man. Um, let's see. Let him go. Let him go. Arrest that white lady, man. Send her to the big house, man. Everybody hit the like button, man. Smash that like button, man. Smash that like button, man. Smash it, man. Smiz ass that like button, man. Smash that like button, man. only place man the only place you won't get this man smash that like button man at least smash that like button man that's the least you could do man that's the least you can do man smith nash that liz night biz nothing man Oh, a protest tonight getting heated and ending with one man in handcuffs as the calls for justice continue after a deputy shot an Illinois woman to death. This is First Lord 4 at 10. I'm Corey Stark. Samantha Jones is off tonight. Well, as we speak, the Department of Justice is looking into a Springfield, Illinois woman's death. Sonia Massey called 911 about a possible prowler only for a sheriff's deputy to shoot and kill her inside of her own home. That happened in Springfield, Illinois. But tonight, the calls for justice came from 90 miles away in Fairview Heights. Only our Justin Andrews joins me now with their message. Yeah, Corey, their message echoing loud and clear tonight. They want police to stop killing black men and women. Today's demonstration brought people of all ages and... Yeah, Corey, their message Here we go. clear tonight. They want police to stop killing black men and women. Today's demonstration brought people of all ages and colors demanding justice for Sonia Massey. However, it was quickly cut short when only our cameras were there as a protester was taken into custody. A couple dozen people shouting through the streets of Fairview Heights Tuesday demanding justice for Sonia Massey. 
Massey, a black woman, prosecutors say was killed in her Springfield, Illinois home by former Sangamon County Sheriff's Deputy Sean Grayson, who was white. I'm exhausted uh, to have to fight for the same thing over and over again. Persistent pain for Howell because she says, then Stay your ugly ass at home, man. Stay your ugly ass at home, man. That's all you gotta do if you exhausted, man. You exhausted, man. Yeah, you exhausted, man. Exhausted uh, to have to fight for the same thing over and over again. Persistent pain for she's still forced to do this in 2024. It's just really difficult. She's among roughly 20 people vocal after watching this 36 minute video of body camera footage Illinois State Police released Monday. Yo, who is this? Who are you, man? Who is this guy? He ain't got no fucking name, man. Who's this guy right here with no name? You gotta you gotta cam up behind. Who are you with no name, man? That just tried to come up in the back chat. I don't know you, man. You ain't got no name, man. Sorry, man. Sorry. This video agonizing for protesters to watch, but they say it's eye opening when it comes to this case. Video shows Illinois Sheriff's Deputy Sean Grayson yelled from across the counter at Sonia to sit down a pot of hot water. He then threatened to shoot her. We then see Sonia duck, briefly rise and even apologize seconds before the deputy fired his pistol at her three times with one fatal blow to the head. What he did was was murder, cold blood murder point blank period. J.D. Dixon organized this demonstration. Police arrested him after requesting demonstrators get on the sidewalk. Protesters angry and entangled in emotions. You muted. That fool got arrested over this bro, man. Crazy, man. They starting, man. You think this got legs, man? Y'all think this this Sonya Massey thing got legs? I think it. I think it could. I mean, I don't understand why though. This nigga already like he already got arrested for this shit. I don't, I don't understand, bro. Yeah, but it, it's like they if you listen to people talking, they they already using it for political. Like everybody. Talking about Trump won immunity for cops. So this is, we got to vote. Don't they already have, like, fuck is the uh, qualified immunity? Yeah, they already got qualified immunity. How the fuck can he give them something that, that they already have? Man, they was fighting for the right to vote last election. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> they was out there talking about something. We need our voting rights and shit. So these people are crazy, man. Watching JD get clamped in cuffs. For how this is a clear reason why they continue amplifying their voices until real change happens. What else are we supposed to do when the people that are supposed to help us hurt us constantly? All right, so prosecutors say Grayson's partner tried to give Massey first aid, even though Grayson discouraged him. Documents obtained by CBS News show Grayson. Uh -oh. They pushing this, man. Like, they what, what do they, what do they want? Like, what, like, do they understand this process to this shit? Man, these people want to cause. These people understand all that. These people want to. Um, they want to use this to like Kamala. They want Kamala's going to try to milk this too. That the, this is trying to. That it worked last time, man. I've been telling you they've been searching for this for a long time. They, they may have found it. This may be it. If this one ain't it, the next one gonna be it. If if, if we if we somehow survive Sonya Massey, man, um, the next one gonna be a doozy, man. A peace rally to keep Sonya's memory alive. Alfred Dixon says he has played with Sonia's children and will remember her as someone who spread a message of love. She was the kindest, nicest person I knew. <laughs> who believed that she was the kindest, nicest person that this kid knew, man? Who believes that? There's no one more kind in the whole world 
then the lady, then the hot water boil, lady throwing hot water on people and shit. That's crazy, man. They doing too much, man. Y'all doing too much, man. This, you see, y'all, y'all starting to, now you starting to like turn people off. You doing too damn much, man. She was the nicest woman ever in the history of the world, man. Uh, she was the kindest, nicest person I knew. Um, she was just very loving, inviting me in her home. Um, hey, man, you, you lucky you ain't go. Hey, listen, did you go, man? That nigga oh, sugar, just sit down. Sit down, sugar. Um, I'm about to just, I'm just going to be in here making some noodles, okay? I'm going to make some tea. You just sit there and chill and relax, okay? Yeah, this nigga lucky he ain't get rebuked. I'm telling you, man. Shit, man. She probably got to get video games. That that house. He probably he probably came to the front door, looked in, and said, "Oh shit, this bitch a hoarder, man. I ain't going in there, man." He in, in that motherfucker looking like Harvey Dent. I'm telling you, man. You can come out. And they never find your ass. She was just very loving, inviting me in her home. Um, and she just was loving. She loved everyone. In a short amount of time, she loved you already. Reggie Guyton has been attending Stand with Sonia rallies. He said it's been powerful to be a part of the community coming together they in the way. Cutting wake. hair, man. What the fuck oh, is these niggas? Um, <laughs> I need to go down there, man. I need an Erica bad, man. I need to go down here, man. When is Sandra Massey? When when is Sandra Massey tour coming to Pennsylvania, man? <laughs> so I get my hair cut, man. She, man. I don't want this dyke cutting my hair. I want the brother doing it, man. The community coming together in the wake of a tragedy. It's amazing how the community... <laughs> what the hell, man? Okay, well, we got we, we got a lot of work to do, man. Um, Gorillas in the mist, man. Yeah, man. They just getting started, though, man. This is... This is... the, the they, they You know, it's been four years, man. Give them a break, man. They got to... They got to get their um, swing back. They rusty, man. The Black Lives Matter is rusty, man. Yeah, that's the B. They doing the BLM shuffle. Like, they getting back into it, bro. <laughs> yeah, wait till, wait till um, they get their groove back, man. It's going to be a bunch of skinny mulattoes out here, man. The wake of a tragedy. It's amazing how the community can come together and really just take the collective grief that we're feeling and then I wish your teeth would come together, man. <laughs> It'd be nice if your teeth came together, brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? Let's get your teeth to come together, man. Um, but other than that, man, go on, man. Just take the collective grief that we're feeling and then do something with it. We've been able to defy expectations of what mourning looks like of what grieving looks like and um the expectation on, that brother you, you you're grieving and mourning over this chick man you out here grieving man listen man i ain't listen man i ain't even gonna lie to you man listen you grieving like this is grief you want to stay the grief over somebody you didn't know man now did you know her brother because you didn't they didn't say you knew her they just said you were acting did you know her, man? The expectation that we would be violent in the face of violence. And um, I, I think it really does set a tone and an example for who we are and what we can be. Alfred and Faith Perry, Alfred's cousin, says this peace march could be the beginning of big changes. It gives me faith. It yeah. gives me hope that we can, that there can be a change. Yeah, it really can be. It, like. It gives you faith. It gives you hope that there can be a change. She sounds like Obama, man. Faith, hope, change. What the fuck are you talking about, man? What are you talking about? All these buzzwords and vagaries, man. Salute to DM, man. Shout out to DM, man. Oh, shit, man. Fuck. Oh, man. Shout out to DM, man. The crazy thing is there are probably a dudes out on bail right now for killing black women and no one knows or cares like this. Probably. You said probably? Come on, DM. <laughs> you ain't just say probably. 
Don't tell Van can, Jones that. that. There can be a change. Yeah, it, it really can be. Like, if if the change is small or big, either way, we just want to change. And like I got to say, justice for Sonia Massey. Community organizers have plans to continue showing out and showing up for the Massey family. Meanwhile, the Massey family and attorney Ben Crump addressed the community early today. WND's Ben Mackey shares more from today's press conference. In Springfield, Hannah Flahan, WND News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media. Mm. Well, they, they, they hitting the streets, man. They, in, they out here in these streets, man. Um, what's on you, man? What's on you? On your massy man, um, it's pick, it's in, it definitely looks like it's picking up. Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's cracking, man. We about to, we about to uh, see full scale protests, and 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 not too long, man. I seen some stuff on social media too, man. They got some some protests on social media. Shout out to um, Miguel Wano, man. He says Kamala. DEI comments and Palestine protesters are too turnt for them to worry about the sun people right now. But they do move fast, so once the hype is over, they'll jump on the bandwagon immediately. Um, we'll see, man. Uh, I think that this thing, they, they're going to strike while the iron's hot. I don't think they're going to 